Wild Survivor's Archetype power-ups are here. I'll make 30% of you that have not smashed the Evelyn crap. I know that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out. More uh, content. We're going to be starting things off here with the Transcendosaurus. Yeah, this is uh, actually... Hi, hi, buddy. How are you? I'm on a Link 3 with uh, some pretty interesting Link heroes there. Two plus dinosaurs, including a level 6 or higher monster. Okay, I guess. Sure. If this card... Okay, you can only use the first, second, third effects of this card's name once per turn. This card is special summon, special summon a dinosaur from your hand. Why do I need that? Okay, if a face-up dinosaur... If a face-up dinosaur monster, this card points to destroy by battle a card effect. You can draw a card. Well, um, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that with these arrows, but all right. If this card is destroyed, you can shove one normal monster into your graveyard, and then you can special summon this card. Um... Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is awful. If I'm investing into a Link 3, um, that's all the materials that I could have invested into a uh, actual value tree to get some better value. But that's okay. We'll get the bad card out of the way. And now, onto the good cards. These are these are amazing. So this is the uh, Pocinia di Novales. Yeah, somebody's going to be like, Robbie, you mispronounce it. Yeah, I know. Look, we have a... Uh, we have Food Wars continuation. This has definitely inspired me to do another Food Wars bundle. That's for sure. Uh, level 1 Dark Fairy Pendulum Monster. So Pendulum Effect. Oh, she's an 8 scale, by the way. 700 tech, 1700 defense. Pretty big uh, defense, actually, for a level 1. So you can only use Pendulum Effect. This card's name once per turn. If you control a ritual monster, you target one monster on the field. Special summon this card and then change the targeted monster's battle position. Okay. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special to someone, you can activate one of these effects. You can add a, uh, you can add a level 1 ritual monster or one recipe card from your deck to your hand. Or you can banish any number of recipe cards from your graveyard. You can do special summon one Novales ritual monster from your hand with a level equal to the number banished. And if this card on the field is distributed, add to the extra deck face up. You can place it in your pendulum scale. That's actually pretty, pretty cool here. Um, like... This is awesome. And then, this is the thing that's going to confuse people. Now, they're going to be like, wait, what, what, is, what, is the, what is the bakery chick doing here that was a TCG exclusive? Well, she has to do this archetype now. Quick play spell card. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. So you special summon one Noblesse Pendulum Monster and one Pasatiel Pendulum Monster from your hand deck and or extra deck, one of each, and you cannot use monsters as material for a fusion, synchro, exceed, or link summon for the rest of this turn, except for Novales and Pasatiel monsters, which is actually pretty free. And then during your main phase, you banish this card from your graveyard, target one face of monster on the field against 200 attack for each recipe in your graveyard. Both of these cards are really good. But wait, there's more. Ah, we have DLC <laughs> for Vanquish Soul. This card is really really good in my personal opinion so vanquish soul geolong this is a level five worm effect monster 2400 attack 2100 defense you can only use the first and second effects of this card's name once per turn and they cannot be activated in the same chain so if you reveal a card of cards in your hand to activate a vanquish soul card effect you can special summon this card quick effect you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with the listed attributes fire change the battle position of one monster on the field and or well the other one is Fire Fire, and a Vanquish Soul card from your deck to your hand, except for Geolong. Um, this is pretty good, actually. Like, I, I think this card actually is going to be very interesting. Then we got a trap card here, Vanquish Soul Snow Devil. So you only activate one card of this card's name per turn. Reveal up to three monsters from your hand, one dark, one earth, one fire, and apply the effects in sequence based on the number revealed. So if you reveal one plus, You'll ping your opponent for 400, and then you can special summon a Vanquish Soul from your hand. Uh, let's see here. 2 plus, inflict 600 damage to your opponent. Also, Vanquish Soul monster you control cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. And then 8, uh, reveal 3, uh, inflict 800 damage to your opponent, and then you can destroy all monsters on the field. Well, that's really weird. The Vanquish Soul that I just revealed gets destroyed, but I guess it's interesting, uh, to say the least here. But what do you think about these? I think these cards are pretty, m minus, minus, you know, the Transcend Drake. The others are really good. So please, if comment down below, tell me what you guys think. See your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.